I have to. You have to be on top of her. No, no, save it, save it. Uh, easy, easy on the bar. Uh, no, no, not, not like that. Hello everyone, my name is Manny, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna go ahead and find out if you can actually track a Pro FD car. Can you take a Pro FD car on the track and drive it properly? Not sideways, we're gonna try and drive her properly. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of sideways action. I mean, it is it is a Pro FD car, so we can't really avoid going sideways. But yeah, we're gonna give it our best shot, try and set a respectable lap time. So the car that we're gonna be using is Adam LZ's 2JZ swapped S15 Pro FD spec car this is the car that he used to i'm not sure if he used this to compete but i've seen a lot of onboard footages at pro of the events with this car so i assume this is the car that he used to compete just a bit of specs about the car we have 1000 horsepower 1000 newton meters of torque and 1200 kg in terms of weight with a six speed sequential transmission but i don't have a sequential shifter i only have a handbrake so we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna use h pattern because that's preferred anyway yeah, let's go ahead, let's get everything set up, get out on track, and we'll see what we can do with a, with a Pro FD car on the Nordschleife ad. I don't think this is going to be very fun, I think this is going to be very hard. I'm going to keep all the crashes in there though. Okay, so this is a attempt number three, I want to say. Or attempt number three or four, the car, so let's see if we can get around to one piece. Let's see. He is extremely quick off the line, surprisingly. Fifth, fourth, third. Whoa, the brakes, man. I, st I still can't get over. But easy now, easy girl. I still can't get over how good these brakes are. Honest to God, hand on my heart. The brakes work in this car and they work really well too. We are running 1000 horsepower 2J. As you probably already know from the intro, third gear is way too low. She's gonna spin third gear out all the time. We need fourth or higher. Yeah, fourth, fourth, she doesn't spin out that much, so let's keep fourth going through this entire section here so we can actually have a meaningful power band. Easy. We are running negative four degrees of camber, so this is very, very likely to happen pretty much around every corner that we go around, but we'll try and keep her straight. Because spinning ain't winning. It is fun though. We also have a, a Oh god! Fifth gear. Let's not grant her as more ourselves. Oh! <laughs> oh! Um, I'm petrified. I'm I'm absolutely scared for my life. I don't think a pro V car should be going this fast. Yeah, maximum length of gears we did change that in the setup but still way too short i mean can't expect much okay break fifth fourth break 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 uh went a bit wide but that's okay we're still alive that's all that matters oh no 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 you know what honestly it's invalid but we didn't crash we just cut the track a little bit so Let's keep going, I'm gonna actually count this one. Fourth gear, easy now, easy, very easy. No need to make any other silly mistakes. We are in third gear, so as soon as we count the corner, fourth on the power, fifth, sixth, look at the speedo just climb, 270Ks already. Dear God, please don't go wide, all good. Keep in fourth gear. Stop! Break! I'm breaking way too late now. Starting to trust the car a little bit. So that's her gentle reminder that I should not trust this car at all. Go so, sideways a little bit. Okay. I'm gonna keep fourth gear here through miss hit miss. So, miss. Ah, attempt to hit. Keep it together now. Come on. Let's just drive her home in one piece. I'm gonna drop third gear. On the brakes heavy, don't lock up. We're understeering because of all the negative camber. That's okay. Easy on the power, easy. Fourth gear. Fifth gear, foot flat to the floor. On the brakes, down to fourth gear. Get her slowed right down. This corner is very deceptive. You think you can take it much faster. And you're, whoa, capable of, goddamn. She's very snappy, very twitchy, obviously. Not much to be said. If the question of the video is, 
can you track uh, an FD car? So far, I have to say yes. You definitely can track an FD car on stock setup. Oh god, just need to lengthen the gears a little bit because it is my assumption that- Oh lord, it is my assumption that most pro FD cars have really short gears because they need all the instant acceleration that they can get to spin up the rear wheels. These, these are as long as the gears can go, so we max out at 285. They could afford to go a bit higher. I mean a bit longer. But to be fair, if you don't mind smashing the limiter, which, I mean, no one really minds smashing the limiter, to be honest with you, then yes. You see, this question is funny, because if you can afford an FD car, you can afford a track car. So why the fuck would you ever t take this sort of monstrosity well it's not a monstrosity how dare i never mind i apologize it is still stay in the carousel girl come on we have no mid corner grip get back in it's not a monstrosity it is still a marvel of engineering i mean these cars are insane we have a thousand horsepower 2j okay very very headache part of the Norch Life and now in this car as we come up to the second sector the best piece of racetrack in the world gentle gentle so the hardest thing about this car is actually coming out of the corner and staying alive Keep, come on come on come on oh I don't know how the fuck I saved that one oh, I'm absolutely petrified I'm gripping the steering wheel for dear life but yes, the best part of racetrack in the world in an FD car. Is it doable? Yes! Very doable. Very good as well. Just coming out of the corner. And the thing is, if you manage to get your foot down without spinning, the next corner comes at you so fast. Like, look at this. We're already there. Oh, now this sector is absolutely terrifying in this car. Let's see if we can make it in one piece. Fifth gear. Easy on the power. Easy. Easy. Easy, break. Oh, please stay alive. Yes. Wow. Super bouncy. The suspension is the stiffest I've ever seen or felt. She's bouncing around everywhere. We got airborne there, I'm pretty sure. Let's see if we can make it. Oh. Ah. I'm so scared. Okay, we made it. Break. Fifth gear. Up this corner. Fourth. Let's just try and survive. Let's just drive her home. Drive her home. We're here. We're here. Third gear through the carousel. Please don't let this be a mistake. On the way out, fourth, fifth. On the power, slow, slowly. Jeez. Brake. Fifth gear on the corner. Coming up to final corner now. The run to the line is going to be really short in this car. On the power in fifth gear. Look at this acceleration already up to 280Ks and across the line. Oh my god! What? 650.4? Nah. Okay, so can you track a Pro FD car? Yes. Yes, you can. Overall, P4 in the standings and the fastest car that we've taken around the tourist layout for the Nordschleife. The acceleration is ridiculous. The cornering grip is not that bad considering we're on negative four degree of front camber. That's insane. The brakes are good. The suspension is good. The car is light, powerful. It's, I'm actually amazed. So yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to leave a like and a comment and also don't forget to click the subscribe button i have to say this every time i really hate saying this but statistics show that if i tell you to do this you're more likely to do it so do it do it i please do it i'm begging you'll do anything for likes i'm begging you. no i'm joking anyway so hope you guys enjoyed thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in the next video